My name is Don Bidner. I'm an assistant professor of mathematics here at Truman. I uh, teach the art and science of computer programming class in JBA. I have for uh, several years now. Uh, we learned how to program in Java. So the kids sometimes have some programming background when they come in. A lot of times they don't. And we go from the basics, from basically nothing, to learning the words of the language, putting together simple programs, and eventually writing some pretty hard things. The first week, we really have to just learn basic things of the language, like learning a foreign language, really. You have to learn to talk like a baby. We, we learn the, you know, just the basic structure of a program. We write a program. All it says is hello, um, and, you know, we make it do that. We learn that you always have to have semicolons in certain places. You have to have braces in certain places, parentheses mm -hmm. in certain places. Uh, just the basic structure and syntax of any program. We learn that kind of thing the first uh, day or so, and then we learn um, the the really basic parts that you build a program out of, which are called methods. Um, it's really a, kind of obscure. Um, you add that to things like uh, to variables which hold our our information while our program is going and um, then on the, the second week um, we make that harder so we, somewhere along the way we've learned to have our programs make decisions if this happens then do this if this happens then do this and if all these things don't happen then do that um, and then in the second week we add that harder we add do this a thousand times uh, iteration and and uh, repetition and so our program can can start counting and do things that you couldn't easily do without being able to do that. Um, and then in the third week, um, we add some harder things. Um, we start building our own objects in the language, um, which is kind of a, a very high level of ab abstraction. We uh, learn to use arrays. We've picked up strings by that point. Um, and then our, our final project is that we, we write these sort of virtual robots. We put them into an arena together and fight to the death in little three minute death matches. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's usually very fun. I usually have uh, you know students who turn out uh, surprisingly clever ideas for how to make their robot work. Um, the kids like to have a big tournament to see who's gonna win. Kind of so that's what we do, we sort of start the basics and we build harder. We, finish off with robot death matches. We spend a lot of time behind the monitors. I mean, programming, uh, learning a language is very, you know, you have to repeat a lot, you have to do a lot. Um, if you were taking Italian, you'd speak a lot of Italian. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn to program a computer, you have to do a lot of programming. Hey, you have to do a lot of writing. So we spend a lot of time behind the monitors doing that. Um, I try to put in a few things that aren't behind the monitors. Um, uh, the first week we did kind of a, uh, it's called CS Unplugged, um, which are activities you do where you sort of pretend to be parts of the computer. Mm -hmm. So we stand in certain places on the floor and there's lines taped and it's a network or something and we work through the network as pieces of data. Mm -hmm. or, um, or we sit in circle and we're all nodes of a network and we're the network and then we pass the data pieces back and forth and we're trying okay. to achieve something. And that went okay this year. It was the first time I'd ever tried it. Uh, I've got great ideas for doing it next year, so we're definitely going to do it again. Yesterday we built network cables. Okay. Um, I had took a spool of wire downstairs and some lineman scissors and uh, punch down tools, and we just put ends on. We stuck them in the tester to see if they worked. Mm -hmm. um, if they didn't, then we had to cut them off and rewire them together. Um, I'm hoping we'll get a chance to take computers apart, see how the cards go together, how the cables are attached, and, and so on. Um, we'll do that probably in the last week if we can get to that. So we do a few things that aren't just behind the computer, um, where we get to stand up, we get to make a little bit of noise. But a lot of it's programming. You, if you want to learn a language, you got to do it. But they like the robots. Mm -hmm. That's It's really hard, but they really like it. Um, I think. The last two years I built the network cables. Um, it takes a lot of coordination and uh, attention to detail, but it's really, really popular. Kids like that. Um, sometimes we try to do a tour of the data center. I'm not sure if we're going to get to do that this year. Um, usually the sort of response is, why would we want to do that? And then they go do it and it was cooler than they expected. So usually people like that. People like the successes. 
Uh, programming is kind of like solving a puzzle. Sometimes it's really frustrating. You get stuck. You can't get it. And you can't get it. And the computer is exasperating. You know, it, it, if you do one little thing wrong, it's just that. There's no cajoling it or um, you know whining and getting it to go. It just doesn't go. And so. You know, sometimes when you've really beat on a problem for a long time, just getting it to go is very euphoric, uh, and kids really like that. You have to try things to find out if you like them, and there will be some people who are good sports and they, they, you know, they hang with it, they don't really like programming, and they learn something really important when they learn that. Other people will be naturals, or they won't be naturals, but they'll, they'll find that they like it and they will pursue it and through hard work will become good at it. Um, so I'd like to think some of my students might take another Java class. They might take the AP exam in Java, for example, and get Java credit um, because the AP exam is in that language. They don't know everything to do an AP exam in three weeks, you know, with me, but they know a lot and they've gotten a start. And so, you know, self-study another class. I'd love to see that. I, you know, I'd love to see them writing little Java programs to do their math homework. Um, <laughs> or writing little Java programs to play games or, or things like that, you know, because um, I think programming is a really, really cool hobby. It's really fun. Um, it's sometimes really hard and really frustrating, um, but, uh, but you can do really, really neat things with it. So I'd like to think some would just, you know, even if they don't go into computer science, although, you know, some might, um, I'd like to think that some of them might think of it as a hobby or if you go into a science, it sort of complements that other thing that you're doing.